Horses are on the track. Horses are on the track, ready to post for the final heat of the Little Brown Jug. Sponsored by Dodge. This heat, winner take all, $54,398. Number one, Royal Flush Hanover. Owned by Jeffrey Snyder, New York, New York. Bill Robinson trains. Luke Willett drives. Post three. 1A, Mystical Shark. Owned by Jeffrey Snyder, New York, New York. Dwayne Marfisi trains. Jack Moisea drives. Post four. Number two, looking for art. Ridley Farms from Sales, Kentucky. Alan Regal trains. Eric Ledford drives. Post position one. And number three, Blissful Hall. Daniel Plouf, Bedford, province of Quebec. Benjamin Wallace trains. Ron Pierce drives. Post position two. And that's the field for the third heat of the Little Brown Jet. Win, Perfecto Atri. Final heat of this year's Little Brown Jet. From the inside out, looking for art. Blissful Hall, Royal Fly Shanover, Mystical Shark on the outside. Four, five, three-year-old Colt Pacers. In behind the Great Coon starting gate. The gate swings into the stretch. And here they come for the final of the job. They're up and pacing, and that's Mystical Shark and Jack Moisel going right out to grab the racetrack. Looking for art. Eric Ledford takes the two-hole trip. Blissful Hall and Ron Pierce get away third. And the trigger, Royal Flash Hanover, Luke Willett, all in straight alignment, down the back side, going to the first quarter arc. Mystical Shark leads him by a length and a half, looking for Art second, Blissful Hall third, opening quarter, 28 and two. The end of the turn, trailing the field, Royal Flash Hanover, still straight alignment, no one's made a move to go after leader, Jack Moisea, Mystical Shark leads him by two, looking for Art, Eric Ludford content to race second. Ron Pierce sits third. Blissful Hall. Luke Willett, first to pull on the outside. Royal Flush Hanover passing his down to the first time. Coming to the half. Mystical Shark on top at the half. 57 3. Second quarter, 29 and 1. On to the backside to go. Mystical Shark with the lead. On the outside, second, Luke Willett. Ron Pierce tips to the outside. Looking for Art on the inside. Down the backside they go. The leader, Mystical Shark. On the outside, Royal Flash Hanover. Racing third, looking for Art. He's gonna need some daylight. daylight. Out comes Ron Pierce and Blissful Hall. Three quarters, 128 and three. And now they're pacing and it's Blissful Hall. Moving on the outside, goes right on by Mystical Shark. Coming to the outside, looking for Art, trailing Royal Flush Hanover. Down the stretch he comes on the outside with every stride, looking for Art, but he can't catch. Blissful Hall winning the Little Brown Jug. World record, three heats, divide up. Now going to the gate in the second heat from all the folks in Montreal wishing Ron Pierce and Blissful Hall and Benjamin Wallace the best of a lot. So gentlemen, they're watching in Montreal and loving every bit of it. As Blissful Hall comes to the winner's circle, the winner of the final race in the 1900s. The 1999 Little Brown Jug. Daniel Plouffe, Bedford, province of Quebec, the owner.
this time for the presentation. Representing Dodge, we have Lou Sturvale, technical advisor, accompanied by Robin Egelhoff of WBNS AM. Presenting the trophy, Daniel Booth, Bedford, province of Quebec. Actually, for the presentation we have with us here in the winner's circle, the governor of the state of Ohio, Robert Taft! Thank you very much. Ohio and Delaware County are proud to be home of the greatest pacing classic in North America, and I'm proud to present this trophy for the little brown jug to the owner of Blissful Hall, Mr. Daniel Plouffe. Congratulations. Congratulations. Mr. Plouffe, big year for Blissful Hall all of a sudden. Wins the king. Wins the little brown jug. We'll see you at the Meadows for the messenger. Sure. <laughs> you wouldn't mind a $250,000 bonus, would you? Yeah. <laughs> On behalf of Dodge. On behalf of Dodge and the area Dodge dealers, it's a great pleasure to be a part of this wonderful event for the state of Ohio. Congratulations on the winning of the event. That's the presentation of the trophy. Next up, presentation of the little brown jug ring. Tom Thompson. For the presentation. To Ron Pierce, the winning driver. Congratulations. You get two of them in a row. Diamond rings. They're beautiful. We'll get you ring size here again so we make sure it fits. Congratulations. Great drive. What'd you tell me in the telephone two weeks ago? You said you were the best. You were going to win it. <laughs> By the way, you didn't hear Ron. He said, I don't remember. What'd I tell you? Ron, it was a tough race to win, all things considered. Uh, yes, it was the way that second heat worked out there final worked out there for us, but uh, kind of changed tactics a little bit uh, for the race off, and uh, the horse, the, he called along real nice, two fingers, and then when I tipped him, he just exploded. The entry had, uh, looking for Art, boxed in at the inside. You got on the outside, second over with cover, and you couldn't have been in a better place. Right, it was uh, where I wanted to be. I didn't want to be in that two hole. Uh, you know, you don't have a lane here at Dope, uh, Delaware, so I, I didn't want that two hole. Uh, so I was real happy to be where I was, and, and so was my horse. He liked it back there, following along instead of, instead of uh, looking all the race track. Final heat coming home in 155 and three. A three heat world record, 540 and three. So congratulations to Ron Pearson. We'll see you at Ladbroke at the Meadows, October 16th. Okay, Roger, thank you. Benjamin Wallace, the trainer, Blissful Hall been quite a string you put together with Blissful Hall. Yeah, it's it's been fun. It's been a fun ride. Now, this being September the 23rd, what will be the plans with Blissful Hall between now and October the 16th? He'll race once in Lexington. Once at the Red Mile in Lexington, probably what, the first or second no, week? The second, it's probably the Tattersalls. Second week in Lexington and then on to the Meadows for the Triple Crown. Yeah, back, up to, back up to the Meadows. And we wish you the best there, and congratulations for winning the Little Brown Jug. Okay, thank you. Tom Wright, we'll go forward. Caretaker, Jill Roy, Tom Wright for the presentation of the Caretakers Award. Jill, it's a real pleasure to present this watch to you. On behalf of the Little Brown Jug Society and the Delaware County Fair, we're real excited that you're here, and I know you're looking forward to moving on to the Meadows, but we're tickled that you're here tonight, and it's just a wonderful thing for the county, and, and I know you work awful hard for the horse, and congratulations. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Well, there you have it. We thank the Kroger Company for the presentation of the blanket on the winner of the Little Brown Jug, Blissful Hall. Well, Dave B. and Coney, that's it. Blissful Hall gets the job done in one of the most exciting and one of the most dramatic Little Brown Jugs that we've seen. Let's take a look at the replay.